Good Monday morning. Today's devotion from Journey into Grace is entitled, When We Cannot See, and it was written by Bonnie. The key verse is Romans 8.28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And the devotion reads, Childbirth is surely one of the most difficult times in any woman's life. It's a time when a husband would want to provide the most comfortable environment for his laboring wife, but the four Gospels indicate that few comforts were available to Mary and Joseph as they stopped in Bethlehem at a very vulnerable and physically tough time. Joseph could do little more than find clean straw for Mary to rest upon and scoop the remnants of feed out of an animal trough for her newborn. And Mary, without her mother or midwife familiar to her, endured the agony of labor with the scent of manure hanging in the air. Mmm, sounds lovely. We could easily imagine them filled with fear and anxiety. There was nowhere to lean, observed missionary and author Elizabeth Elliot, except the everlasting arms. They had God's word especially delivered by the angel Gabriel. But was this the way the Messiah, the Savior of all humankind, was to come? Had they misunderstood? Where was the angel now? Where was God? Weak things, lowly things, painful things, silent things. The dis instinct of their faith told them God was in all of them. God had given them his word. Therefore, they moved trustfully quietly through each moment, God being in charge, God being in that moment, wrote Elliot. Would we have trusted at a moment like that? The shockingly humble beginning of Jesus's life here on earth wasn't what we would expect for the birth of the King of Kings. Yet here we find great hope, Elliot explains. So it may be for us when God's order is the reverse of what we would expect. He is in each moment in us, with us, as he is with the holy couple on their wearisome journey over the dusty roads and in the raw cattle shed. Should we expect to see how things are working together for our good? No, not yet. We see, not yet. We only know. We are reminded that when we cannot see, we go back to what we know. In all things, God works. The reflection thought is, has there been a time in your life when you thought you had heard God's voice loud and clear, but you found yourself in a lonely, dark place, in unthinkable circumstances, in great confusion? Are you, or is someone you love, there now? Let's pray. Father God, I ask that you would help each of us to remember what we know while you work in all things. Help us to trust that promise that in all things you work for our good and your glory. Help us to be mindful of opportunities to do your work here, to be a witness for you, to those we live with, work with, and interact with on this journey. Be with those affected by COVID-19 and those who have lost loved ones due to this virus. We ask for strength and energy and protection for medical staff and hospital personnel. And Father, we pray for wisdom and discernment as researchers and scientists research a treatment for COVID-19. We ask all of this in your son's name. Amen. Sorry, I thought Blacktop had landed up on the table, but no, he's on my lap. Have a great day.